Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Boot Essentials. So in the previous videos, we started exposing some metrics for Spring Actuator. We are using Micrometer to parse the, the format to Prometheus. We are using Prometheus to pull the data. But now what we are missing and we are going to do in this video is to have a better visualization. So we are going to set up Grafana. Uh, you can go to grafana.com. It's an open source analytics and monitoring solution. And as you can see here, we have some really nice uh, dashboards for our application. So what we're going to do is just the, the basic setup. The intention here is not to go into details about Grafana, but at least uh, get all the data that we are exposing in a nice format. Okay, so go back to the application. We need Grafana here running. There are other ways, but I will just use the Docker Compose because it's easier for me. So uh, we can create here Grafana and then we tell that the image for Grafana is from Grafana and we can pull the latest. And then uh, we can give a container name for this, we can call it Grafana. And then we have to expose the port. So the port that we are going to expose is the default one, 3000. Actually, it's like this. So we are exposing port 3000, and this is everything that we need. Now, just run Docker Compose up. It should pull everything. And uh, I'm not going to build my own dashboard I will just download the dashboard from from Grafana they have a nice place here Grafana dashboards so there are several ones uh, there is one that I like if we search for JVM actually let's search for spring boot this one JVM uh, micrometer Okay, just leave this for now. The, what's important is this number 471. Let me increase a little bit the font size here. 4701. So now that we have everything running, let's uh, start the, the application. Let's just see if everything's properly connected. Let's access uh, Grafana localhost 3000. The default uh, password is admin admin. I will skip the change password. Okay, so this is the dashboard. As you can see here, we have to add the data source. So Prometheus, uh, HTTP localhost 9090 is not server. We are going to get from the browser. And um, I think everything else is the same. Default is 15 seconds, query timeout 60 seconds. Okay, so save and test. Okay, it is working. Now we go back and then we can just add one dashboard to make sure that everything is working. So just search here, let's say for JVM. You can get, let's search for memory. Memory used bytes and as you can see here we have all the information being pulled every five uh, 15 seconds let's change the dashboard to the last 30 minutes or the last five minutes and you will see the nice dashboard so okay you could build your own dashboard you could change the visualization instead of graphics you can have the gauge and so on or you can just import so this is what I'm going to do here. So you just click here on new dashboard and then you import dashboard. I'm going to discard this one. And then we need this 4701. Actually, they are saying something here. Okay, so they're not using job. They're using this common tag. So we need to copy this and add to our application. Let's add it to the Spring Boot application class. Just import all the classes. From Spring Framework. 
Uh, if you want, you can add there. Well, let's add here. I think we don't have Spring application name. We can add here Spring application name. And then we add here Spring Boot to dash essentials. Let's uh, go back. Let's uh, restart the entire application because we are adding one piece of code here. Okay, so I believe I can make the SonarLint plugin happy. Okay, now that we have this, looks like we have everything. Let's go back to the dashboard. Now we have here folder, general folder, Prometheus, the that data source Prometheus, the one we just created. Now we click on import. Okay, we don't have any data here. Let's. Uh, I'm not sure if this is being load it let's just refresh okay application name spring boot to essentials all docker now we have everything okay it was just a matter of waiting to refresh these 30 seconds we can change here from 30 to 10 if you want and instead of uh, 24 hours, we can change to one hour. And you have these nice metrics available to you. So this is how we can uh, set up Grafana. I hope you enjoyed. There is a lot of more stuff that you can do with Grafana, but at least now you can get access to some nice metrics in a nice way. So see you in the next video. Bye.